Yeah, what's up, Enter? How you doing? What's up, everybody? I'm here. How we all doing? We're gonna be making a vidya today. Arg, we be making a vidya. So that's what we be doing. Yo, what's up, Nate? Long time no see, brother. How you been? So this is what I have so far, chat. Could be better, honestly. I feel that. I feel that, man. The past few uh, days and weeks have been a bit rough as well. But I hope things get better for you, man. And remember, if you need anything, you got friends. So yeah, I'm finally going to make the video about uh, magic locking and forbidden memories. Um, so there's a process to this. Pretty simple. First, we're going to write the script. So what you see so far is what I, I wrote of the script uh, a few weeks ago when I got started on it. Um, now, when I make my scripts, I like to make it so that most of the things that I'm going to do in editing is, or, or at least any source material that I need that I'm going to add in, in editing, I like to put in square brackets in the script so that I know when I'm going back through it that I need to do it. So for example, you'll see that right here where I say show clip of a turn where I don't kill Gate Guardian. That's a good example. Um... So that's really the only thing differently that I... The only thing that I do other than the script itself. Everything that's not in square brackets is something that I'm actually going to be saying word for word. Um, I want to make sure that I try to put everything into um, smallish paragraphs. You don't want the paragraphs to be too long um, or else... I, I, when I go to record this, I like to um, I like to go paragraph by paragraph reading. So um, if the paragraph is too long and I, I fuck something up later in the paragraph, it's going to make it a lot more annoying. But if it's too short, then I'm going to have a trillion recordings, you know, for every sentence. And it won't sound natural. So that's the only other thing I have to think about. But for the most part, we're just thinking about what we want to say. And, you know, good ways to say it, that's all. So, ideally, we'll do the entire video today. Ideally. So, ideally, the video will be out today. It depends on how much work this is going to be, but I don't expect this to take that long. This video shouldn't be too long. I'm going to estimate maybe five or six minutes. It really shouldn't be any longer than that. 
to explain this. I want to keep it clear and concise. Um, so yeah, we're going to write the script first. After we write the script, um, I'm going to get whatever source material I need. So for example, I'm going to have to get a couple clips of certain things. I'm probably going to have to open up for a bit of memories at some point to get uh, footage for certain things. Um, and then after that, we'll open up our video editing software, Sony Vegas, and, um, well, yeah. So after that, we'll open up Sony Vegas, and we will, uh, record the script, um, straight in Sony Vegas. And then once we have the audio for everything, that's when we'll, uh, we'll put together the video, we'll probably have some FM gameplay in the background, and we'll overlay what we want to show. And then that'll be that. So hopefully it doesn't take too long, as long as I stay focused. That's mainly why I'm streaming this, is because by streaming this, it kind of keeps me, keeps me working, you know? I do this on my own, I can get very distracted very easily. You know, I can open up YouTube, watch a YouTube video, get very distracted. I'm live streaming it, there's people watching me, so I can't just zone off for a half hour, you know? So it keeps me focused. So yeah. That's the plan. Drama on my end today with family mentally destroyed at the moment. Just don't know what to do anymore. Sorry to be so negative. No, don't worry about being negative, man. Sometimes life is negative. You know what I mean? I've never really liked the whole idea of, oh, it has to be only positive vibes only. You know, 100% of the time in live streams. I think that there's there's a place for things to be negative now and again because life isn't just positive vibes only you know i think that talking about negative stuff is important that way the people who care about you can support you you know and we care about you nate so yeah don't worry about toning it down feel free to talk all you want about it yeah mislav you guys have to keep me accountable that's right uh, so yeah, hopefully Pecan will be joining the VC soon. She was in here, but then she, uh, out of nowhere was just like, I'll be right back and left and she hasn't been back since. So hopefully she's back in here. That would be cool. Um, anyone else is pretty much welcome to join VC if they want. The music that you are hearing is actually playing through Discord in a Discord bot. Um, so if, if you're in my Discord server, feel free to request whatever mu- add, or not even request, feel free to add whatever music you want to the playlist and uh, join VC, listen to some music, hang out. Um, there's going to be times when I'm going to have to mute the music, so whenever I have to do that, I'm going to right click and I'm going to server uh, deafen the bot that's playing the music. That way I can record what I need to. There's not that much important stuff going on here, Nate. Not, nobody's really the center of attention of this stream. This is just really a hangout stream where I get some work done. That's all it is. Most of the time I do this offline anyway, so this is just a hangout stream. There's really no center topic of the stream or anything like that, so I wouldn't worry about that. Yeah, obviously keep the music streamer friendly. Uh, don't worry about copyright. I have monetization turned off for this live stream. Um, so because it's turned off, that means that we should be able to go nuts on whatever music we want. So, yeah, feel free to do whatever you want. I just saw Pecan listening to some Bo Burnham, so I guess let's play some of that. What a stalker. I can't really very well. Um, or sing, so I apologies.
Is it playing? Yeah, it is. Alright. So, yeah, this is what I have so far. I worked on this offline, I would say, a few weeks ago, maybe two, three weeks ago. Um, this is mostly just the intro and a brief explanation of what magic locking is. Um, so I'm just going to quickly read through this out loud just to get a sense of the flow again and um, then we'll continue it so <clears throat> I'm not recording this though this is just to get a sense of, of the flow and direction and we'll move from there um, so hey everyone it's GFC about seven years ago in November of 2015 I uploaded a video to YouTube titled Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories Haishin 2 Win and Seto 3rd Loss the video, as the title implies, shows me winning a duel against Haishin 2nd, but losing a duel against Seto 3rd. I uploaded that video because... Oops, see, there's a change right there. I, I said I uploaded it in the script, but I think it sounds more natural as I uploaded that video. That sounds just more natural. I uploaded that video because the duels... Okay. I uploaded that video because the duels demonstrated a level of understanding of the game's mechanics that, at the time, I was proud of. The video did decently well, it has about 82,000 views today, but the reason I'm showing you this... Er... But the reason I'm showing this to you... Okay. Okay, yeah, I think the wording that's written is better. But the reason I'm showing this to you is because something happens during the Seto 3rd duel that confused a lot of people. Here, take a look. And then we show the clip. And then I say, Did you catch that? Notice how I ended my turn without killing the Gate Guardian Seto 3rd played. A lot of people commented on the video to let me know that I made a mistake. And to be fair, that's entirely possible, as back then I had only been speedrunning the game for about two years. However, believe it or not, keeping the Gate Guardian alive actually has a purpose, a very important purpose. In fact, if I had killed that Gate Guardian at any point during that duel... Ah, see, that's another thing. At any point during that duel. Sounds better. In fact, if I had killed that... In fact, if I had killed... Yeah, we want the word that there. Because I want to specify that it's that particular Gate Guardian, not just any Gate Guardian. In fact, if I had killed that Gate Guardian at any point during that duel, Seto Third likely would have played Regeki against me and killed me instantly. This is because of a mechanic the Forbidden Memory speedrunning community likes to call magic blocking. In this video, I will explain what magic blocking is, how it works, and how you can activate it during your own duels. Let's get started. Magic locking your opponent basically means you're preventing them from playing magic cards against you. The AI will be unable to play magic cards like Regeki directly from their hand. This will also prevent them from using magic cards they already have face down on the field. This is an incredibly powerful mechanic and will increase your success rate in the end game massively. And that's all I have written so far. So I think it sounds pretty good. We made a few changes. Uh, we'll just keep moving on. Yo, what's up, Nash? Yo, what's up, MS? How you doing? I wonder if Twin Galaxies consider magic locking an illegal glitch. Probably not. I don't see how anybody would consider it that. It's a very, um... Uh, it's obviously not intended, but it's it's just how the AI works, you know? Like, it's not... You're not tricking the game or the game's code or anything like that. It's just how the game is programmed to work, you know? 
Like, it's purposely programmed to work like that. But who knows? It is Twin Galaxies. You never know with them. God damn. Oh yeah. Mark is in here looking fresh. Oh yeah. What's up, Scott? Yes, a very string friendly song. <laughs> sure, it is. Damn, we got the whole squad pulling in today. Yeah, boy. It do be that way. I feel like it's been forever. Yeah. What's up, Fury? What's up, Boyo? Long time no talk. Well, just busy with the seasonal event these days. What up, GFC? What's up? How's everybody weekend? Pretty good, I guess. I can't complain. That's good, that's good. Good vibes, guys. Good vibes. Have a nice week. I just hope it works because of one massive flaw. I've just been busy packing all my shit getting ready to move. Oh, where are you moving to? Just a new place where I'm going to be inside. Oh, that's Congrats, congrats. Oh, so it's finally happening. Yep, in two weeks. Magic blocking works because of one massive flaw with the AI. You cannot properly see equips you put on your cards. Hmm. Cannot properly see equips. See the equips you put on your cards. Cannot properly see the equips you put on your cards. Yeah, that's better. Never open them.
decides whether or not to play magic. Based off of whether or not they. During a duel in Forbidden Memories, the AI decides whether or not. During a duel in Forbidden Memories, the AI decides whether or not to play a magic based off of whether or not they think they are in control of the duel. So what's today's run? You gonna do GFC? What was that? What's today's run? Oh, I'm not. I'm not doing a run right now. I'm just working on a video. I want to do a yeah. race later on, though. Guys, I will be right back. I need to make a quick call. Okay. That's what I'm working on doing, Dakota. This video should be a quick one. The whole, the whole, re like, I already have a video describing how to do this, but the video is like nine and a half minutes. The video isn't scripted, and it's very old, and that's why I'm remaking it with, you know, an actual script, an actual editing. But one of the biggest reasons I'm remaking it is because I want... I've been remaking a lot of my old tutorials, like with A-Teching, and the whole point of remaking it, at least the biggest point, is that I want to make all of the information very concise. I want to get all of the information across without rambling, without repeating myself a lot. I just want to get the info there. Very interesting. Yes. Hello. Hi. Welcome. I can finally stop crying and puking and vomiting and shitting and farting and coming. Well, actually, I wasn't doing oh that last God. one. Well, I don't know about that. But now I am. Now I am. Now I'm coming. But wait a minute. All at the same time? Yes. And you're still... Wow. Still yep. Surprised. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're now in charge of the music. Me? 
Yeah, you. I don't want to keep tapping into Discord to fucking add shit, so it's up to you now. Add where whatever freak- music you want to listen to. <laughs> Wait, where the freak do I do it? Oh, I do see. it in the don't care area. I have all of your channels muted. That's reasonable. Like, no. Yeah. Welcome to the internet. How the yeah, world You missed works. all of it. You missed all of it. I'm gonna start throwing up. One time, funny, funny little goofy story. One time, I was with my ex, and not the abusive one, the other one. Right, and right. he was driving me home from New York, and he, it was like a three and a half hour ride, right? So we're like, what music are we gonna listen to? So he puts on the Inside album, and I'm like, uh oh, Tihi. Um, unfortunately, I know every single word to every single one of these songs, and yeah. he didn't believe me until How the World Works came on, and I <laughs> knew the fucking dialogue, yeah. word for word. And I've never seen him look so terrified in his life. But I love that it. is I pretty really terrifying that. power. It was freaking terrifying. He was like, what is wrong with you? And I said, I'm sorry, I don't know, but, you know, this <laughs> is what it is. Deal with it, bud. Ew, I have to link a link? Ew, why do you have such a disgusting gross You don't have to box? link a link. No, I'm gonna link a link because yeah, but you don't that's have what to. I have to do now. No, I have You're to. You're gonna link a link and then that link gets linked. Oh my gosh, You can just, type in, the, ultimate. You can just type in the name so and it will search for it. And then you well, can pick which one. It lets you pick which ah, one. Ah, there you are. It'll this give you like a list of like ten. A little bit stinky. I don't like the way it smells. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. I'm gonna make everybody listen to five songs. T. Go for it. Go freaking nuts, lady. I will. You better. Okay. Driven to one for good memories. He decides whether or not to play. Let's hope the god this shit. Oh wow. Professional grade super glue. Yeah, these guys ain't fucking around this time. You should glue your hands together. No, I need to glue the, the plastic strip for my desk. It fell off again. Why not glue your hands together? Or your lips together? Or your toes together? Or your eyelids shut? Oh, I like this stuff already. Amen. How was that? I uh, got a pedicure for the first time ever in my Basically, life. This means the oh my goodness. Oh, uh, what? Basically, this means Did you get a painted? Pack of the cards on your no, I should have. I was going to like if I would have. Amen. Oh, uh, wish me luck. Wish me luck. This <laughs> is all glued up. It was, uh, it was different. But, uh, right. Oh! Absolutely. I just feel sorry for her. Why? That was a lot of dead skin. So true. It was to the point where I remember me and my fiance. You had a you had a mountain of white snow right where you were, right? Um, essentially, but me and my fiance were sitting in my room one day, right? Right. Oh my gosh. She poked the bottom of my foot, and she's like, "Can you even feel that?" I'm like, "No." Naturally. Because right. I'm like probably three to four inches thick and nothing but dead skin. <laughs> Ew. Freaking. You got it scraped off. Disgusting. Hey, I mean that comes from working in factory scrapers. Right, never right. Totally. That's just natural high heels. So true. Does anybody want some I mean, sweet baby rays? Yeah. Hey, yo. You do? No. Fucking A. Well, alright then. I guess not. I said yes, and then I said no. You know what? That application didn't Playing actually my emotions. wasn't that bad. Less messy Maybe. than the last one. Let's go. I'm freaking hungry. 
I Which wish I wasn't eat? broke. Speaking of being broke, hey chat, remember, uh, donate so I can pay Tato back and also get some food, maybe. Donation link is at the top of the description, and you know the command, exclamation point, off. donate. You know what, fuck, I'm gonna get I might have to get a knife. If we hit the, uh, if we hit the donation goal by the end of this, by, uh, yeah, the end of this stream, then when I release this video, I will make it a live premiere, which means that you guys can go in the chat and talk, and then permanently have your messages alongside the video. Which will be cool, because I guarantee you this video is going to have a lot of views. Can I ask everybody if they like uh, piss and feet in that uh, <laughs> yeah. comment section? Heck yes. Gross. You. If you did anything uh, other no, than that, no. I'd be a little bit disappointed. Right. Get out of here with that piss nonsense. Ugh. Make me vomit. But yeah, Chad, if you could donate, like, the first, like, 20 bucks that I get donated, I think I'm going to use on food. Sorry, Tato. And then after that, you know. Oh, water's too hot. Oh, shit. There we go. Well, if I don't know if you like piss or feet, then I have to ask. <laughs> I don't oh, know if you like get the fun Do you have? Yes. It's the brand I've made for myself in this community, and I, I refuse to give it up. <laughs> How many words per minute are you typing right now, Marcus? One. Uh, zero, I would say, considering I'm not typing. <laughs> Unless you mean on my phone right now, which I am typing. Yeah, how many words per minute? Uh, I don't know. I never tested that on my phone. Hello, Diego. I do not like FM. I only like Go Fish. Hashtag truth. Hey, I'm all into the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG and FM. All of it. It's so windy out today. Hashtag windy. Where are you from again, Pika? Pennsylvania. Oh, that explains it then. Yeah. Yeah. We're Floridian over here, and it's hot and sunny. And, and it's a beautiful day, too. So, Clear skies. Yeah, and, and you know what? It's a great time to go to the local pool and just go dive bobbing. So no true. Hey, when you, go to the, when you go to the local pool in Florida, everything is beautiful. Dude, Dakota, you're right. I can't wait to move out. Finally, and have my own pool again. You're getting your own pool, you lucky bastard. Well, we get we get a fitness center that's 24 hours a day. Man. Oh, that's until sick. Like 10 or 11. Oh man, now I'm jelly. Cool. I miss swimming and working out. Because in my place, we don't really have anything near here like a gym or anything. Ugh. Me either. I live in the middle of nowhere. Well, hopefully they got all the super glue off because that was a bitch and a half to get rid of. Oh lordy lordy. That's the last time I'm buying Gorilla Glue. That shit sucks. That did not ruin my. This mat cost me 200 bucks. This is not cheap. Oh shit, missed one. Yo, what's good, Lord? How are you doing, man? What if you have like a, a creepy praise kink or something, Dakota? You better watch yourself. I have a freaking kink call, right? Let me tell you. Ew. <laughs> I have a I, uh, I have a pecan kink. So true. 
<laughs> Hear them. They're singing to me right now. Feeling oh, so yeah, good. Oh, yeah, they're singing to you, all right. I hear them. They're here. Now, when you say pecan, are you referring about the person or something you piss in? Right. I'm referring to the person. Well, you can never be too sure, especially in right. today's climate. Right. I mean, I mean I'm open-minded, so I right. wouldn't be opposed to the other thing. Right. Amen. But, you know. <laughs> I know someone who literally would not get up from their fucking desk and piss in a jug. I'm like, dude, you are fucking nasty. Oh, my abusive ex used to shit his pants instead of getting up. What the fuck? What the fuck? That's yeah, freaking... Yeah. That's fucking that's, disgusting, dude. Yeah, that's yeah. that's just fucked. Also, that, no, I just saw Super Moist. He went from playing Warhammer to Call of Duty. He doesn't care about us. He doesn't. Wait, 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 wait. Fucking unbelievable. Yeah, Fuck him. Fuck him. Oh, I'm going nuts. No, he didn't. Oh, that gross bastard. Was he related yeah. to Amber Hart? I, I swear to God, it's not an exaggeration. It's, it's the actual truth. Yes, oh his my mom... God. His mom even told me about it when I met her. That's so fucking disgusting! <laughs> oh my god. I know. I can't recommend JB World enough. This stuff is amazing. Well, a lot of people use it on their cars to make shit there, so yeah. I use it to put the molding back on my desk. Apparently, uh... What's his name? Uh, Gorilla Glue sucks. God, I love Luke Hemming. Listen to him. Listen to him go. Yes, please. Oh, you sneaky bastard. N slash A. I God, I take care of this arena desk way too much. I'm back. I heard the dono. The dono thing come out. Uh, go off. So let me check so that. Let me ran replay back that. here. Freaking let me freaking sprinkler. replay that. Holy heck. Holy freaking heck. Yo, Dixie wrecked. <laughs> I get it. Thank you for the $20 donation, erect penis. I appreciate $20 it. $20 donation received from Dixie wrecked. N slash A. I'm going to use that money. <laughs> you know I'm going to use that money for erect dicks. I'm going to use that money. To get Uber food. Uber motherfucking eats, my bro. Actually, DoorDash, but alright. Yeah, I'm freaking I mean, starving. Do you there want were food? times, like, when we were living together, that he would just, like, not brush his teeth for, like, a really long time, and I'd be like, Ew. did you? And he'd be like, yeah, but then he didn't. And we'd get into <laughs> arguments over it, and then he would call me crazy. That's fucking disgusting. It is. Yeah. What did you say, by the way? Oh, that sucks, Dick. All right. I cannot imagine, like, even when we kid someone who hasn't brushed their teeth in, like, fucking days. Well, Can you imagine shitting your pants? That's pretty much my thought exactly. So, that's why, like, we didn't ever touch each other towards the end of our relationship. So fucking <laughs> gross. I don't know. I mean... He was definitely a weirdo, um, and a shitty person, but, you know, what can you do? 
after a certain point, it's like, well, okay, then that's your problem now. I don't think oh. a whole tube of Mentos would be enough to cure the dragon's breath you may have had. I don't even know. <clears throat> I saw him recently because he has our dog. So I went to go see the dog, and of course, unfortunately, he was there. And um, he's like not cleaning the apartment, which I figured was the case. There's just like shit everywhere, and he doesn't take the dog out enough. And I'm like, just let me have the dog, but you won't let me have the dog. Um, probably before I got there, yes, but no. when I got there, no. That's messed up. The dog shouldn't be living like that. Yeah, because yeah, that means that the dog, dog was like, the dog was like holding it in, and he wouldn't let it out until it just shit on the floor. Like. And then he just projectile shits out the window because. He's so irresponsible. No, he wasn't a hoarder. He just like, he's just really lazy, and he like can't take care of it even himself, pretty much. And it's like, the people in his life enable it. So when I was living there, I also enabled it because you know I would clean up the messes and I would take the dog out. I would do everything, and he just kind of like sat there and existed. So. I mean, yeah, it's not it's not a good situation. You need somebody who's gonna like call him on his shit, but then when you do that, he gets really angry. So it's like there's no point. Nah, you see, you're better than I am because I would not clean that shit up. I would just burn the apartment down with Kimena. Yeah, you know, it was a brick building in the middle of New York on the basement floor. So I figured maybe that wasn't a good idea. Just don't get caught for him. So true. So freaking true. Oh wait, he lives in New York, so he probably has one of those uh uh sewage caps, inlet, outlet, and pop people probably flush wipes, tampons, cigarette butts, and the whole nine yards, right? I mean probably, I don't know. I don't know what his plumbing's so like. So true. I watch a guy called NY Drains. He actually has seen quite a lot of nasty shit. Even Roots, they got a root problem over there. Makes sense. Yeah. He lived pretty close to like the border of Pennsylvania and New York, so it wasn't like we were deep into it. I mean, thankfully we have septic tanks over here. Is that Gimme Onion? I see Gimme Onion's little face on your Discord there, Marcus. Oh, I see him, alright. Oh, I see him. I see Gimme Onion. I'm freaking... I'm, I'm gandering. I'm gandering at the man. I see him. Oh, I see him He's today gone. at 2.41pm. But I was gandering. Don't, don't you worry about that. They're like harassing Gimme Onion. Gimme Onion. Why is this song playing again? I'm freaking stressed out right now. They cue it twice. Oh, Why don't you give him a custom name? No, I didn't. It freaking. Oh, I'm so pissed. I did the wrong thing, TV. I didn't even notice. Wait a minute. Dang it, it won't be another two days till the next episode of Kenobi. Oh. <gasps> Randall! Oh my god, my bestie in the whole wide world! Hey! <laughs> What's up, Randall? Thank you, Justin. I appreciate it. I need to work over time, but I really do not fucking feel like it.
It's Reminds me of the time going. people wanted to coax me into working overnight at Walmart. I told them, hell fucking no. I don't know. I preferred night shifts at Walmart because you didn't have a lot of people in there acting fucking stupid. Uh, man, the uh, the people who do night shifts at Walmart, not in my, especially at my store, they weren't the nicest people in the world. They look to be the grouchiest. <clears throat> well, you are in Florida, therefore. Artist Magic Lock is yes. set third. Well, Magic Locking is e equally, I guess, easy on, on everybody. It's it's the same thing on everybody. Set a third is one of the people that I Magic Lock mo most often, honestly. I mean, I have seen you magic lock high shit second a few times. When he wants to be an asshole. No, I know. I gotta um, I gotta keep writing it. Sorry, my brother's messaging me, Golden Jim. I'll continue working on it in a second. I'm, I'm also mulling some things around of how I'm gonna word things. Just give me a couple minutes. skip and launch all together and keep working through it. Damn, Marcus, you got pumped by Golden 
I am here, Randall. I am, I am, I am. That's impressive. A dual monitor setup would cost. I might look into it. Uh, just depends on what you're looking into. Uh, right now I have an old BenQ. The bezels are about as thick as my thumb. I mean, BenQs make really good monitors, so you probably. I do not doubt that. that. I've had mine and I've been happy with it for. If it only had thinner bezels, I would just keep it and buy, just buy an exact copy of it. I mean, I got two cheap Scepter monitors right here side by side. And they work pretty well. You know what? I might just buy a, the same BenQ monitor because I could just, you know, because I want two separate monitors because one has the game, the other one has my YouTube stream, like OBS and chat. What makes me happy is that the 30 series is now back to its normal price range. Yep. I can finally get a new GPU if I wanted to, but that's gonna wait. I'm still rocking a 2070. 2060 here. And 50 Ti. Ouch. I mean, a 1060 would be perfect for 1080p in esports. If you want to bump anything further, you're going to have to go RTX. Yeah, we'll see what new X got pocket. Yeah, I might have the old order for... 3060 for $465 ain't bad. Never thought the fucking GPU prices were ever going to go back down. I just gave up hope on that. Honestly, if I could get a 2080 Ti, then I wouldn't be happy as hell. Uh, oh, wow. Because, I mean, they're pretty similar to 3070s and up. Ooh, the BenQ gaming monitors look sexy as hell. I told you, they're really good monitors. I think I got the entertainment model. To be perfectly frank. Yeah, I did. I, I recognize it. I need to replace one of my monitors because it has a small crack in the screen. Oh, rip. And I don't know how it got there. Uh, let's see. A, a BenQ EL2870U. So that should be one of these. I don't, I don't think they have it anymore. Uh-huh. 28 inch 4K HDR. Yeah, it is a game monitor. Look at that. Still the same price. Isn't 4K like a little bit overkill for such a small monitor? The 28 inch? 28 yeah. inch is pretty 
pretty decent size. Oh, it's actually pretty big from where I'm at. 28 inch monitor is a pretty big size. If it was 28 inch TV, then I'd agree with you, but a 28 inch like, monitor is big. I used to have 24 inch. Like 4K is like too much for such a little screen? Well, it would be, but with Windows, a lot of the um, a lot of the things are scaled up. So, I have a 4K monitor that's um, that's 32 inches. I mean, you don't you don't really uh, there aren't really such things as like fucking 40 plus inch monitors. I mean, there are, but this is extremely uncommon. And to be honest, it's not really practical. No, no. Most monitors are 32 inches or less. Wow, you can get it $50 cheaper if you were to order it directly from BenQ. What a genius idea. Alright, um, chat, uh, sorry about this, but I'm gonna get going. Um, something came up, and there's something that I gotta go do. So, I, um, I'm gonna be back later today with the race. I'm gonna try to get some people together to do a race of Forbidden Memories. Um, I don't know exactly when that'll be. That'll probably be hopefully earlier than I've been streaming. Like it won't be at 11 p.m. or midnight EST. Hopefully it'll be somewhere around I don't know 7 or 8 p.m. EST. Um, it'll either be a race of Forbidden Memories or something with the actual Forbidden Memories gameplay. Um, I'll continue this script another day. Um, like I said, something came up, something I gotta go do. So, yeah, that's gonna be the end of the stream. I apologize that a lot of the stream was just me on my phone, and we didn't really get the stream off the ground. That's fine. It happens. Things come up. Uh, but I have another stream planned for later today, so not really a big deal. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys tonight. Take care, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye. I'll see you later. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Ah!